The phylum Ciliophora includes about 8,000 known species of some of the most complex single-celled organisms ever. These complex unicellular organisms are covered with relatively short, dense, hair-like structures called cilia, used for locomotion. Most ciliates are free-living organisms, but many parasitic forms exist. Free-living ciliates can be found almost anywhere there is water, and they generally feed on bacteria, but their large cell sizes allow them to exploit more prey types such as algae, flagellates, and other ciliates. Ciliates have two types of nuclei, which differ in their shape, content, and functions. Generally, ciliates have one macronucleus, though some species may have a few more, and several micronuclei. The macronuclei control metabolic and developmental functions. The micronuclei are necessary for reproduction. Ciliates can exhibit both asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction occurs by binary fission, where the micronucleus undergoes mitosis and, in most ciliates, the macronucleus simply pinches apart into two sexual reproduction, aka conjugation is often induced by lack of food. Two ciliates of opposite mating types come together and form a cytoplasmic bridge between them. The macronuclei disintegrates, and the micronuclei divide by meiosis. The conjugating cells then exchange a haploid micronuclei through the cytoplasmic connection, separate, and reform new macronuclei from their micronuclei, and finally divide, creating four new cells genetically different than the original two. This may not sound very sexy, but remember that the essence of sexual reproduction is forming a new organism from the combined genetic material of parents. After conjugation, each ciliate partner has acquired new genetic material and divided to give rise to new offspring with a new combination of genes.